I just realized sitting there that my healing journey actually started when I was 12 years old. When I overheard my <coughs> father talking to my mother and telling him her that they needed to take me to a psychiatrist. And I was stunned because I thought I was terrific. You know, I didn't think there was anything wrong with me. And I had no idea what they thought was wrong with me. But what I later learned is that my father was covering his butt because he had molested me when I was five. And he, I was getting to the age where, you know, I might be remembering that stuff. I might be telling somebody. So if I could be crazy, he could be innocent. And I spent my whole life trying to figure out what was wrong with me. And when I was in my 20s, I started going to therapy. I started with a hypnotherapist, and then I went to primal therapy. Now that's some seriously weird shit. <laughs> I mean, I gotta tell you. Um, and then I had just years of conventional talk therapy. And I didn't remember what had happened to me until I was in my mid-30s. And I worked with a fellow who was a protege of Milton Erickson's. And he gave me an Ericksonian kind of process to do that whatever was in my unconscious, it was safe for it to come out. And then I went to Hawaii. And I spent a week in Hawaii on my bed in the fetal position saying, I feel unsafe, somebody's trying to hurt me. When I came home, he gave me another process which was gonna tie it all together. And out of that came, I don't know what happened, but I think my father either tried to kill me or rape me. Well, he did both. And I was so happy to learn this because now I knew what was wrong with me. And I spent the next umpteen years in 12-step programs and groups and incest survivor groups and trying to figure out how to get through that. Because when I got through that, then there wouldn't be anything wrong with me and I'd be okay and I could have a happy life. However, it didn't work out that way. I just spent a lot of time and a really lot of money and, you know, I still didn't know what was wrong with me, really. And then I um, found EFT. Well, I found Roger first. I read his book and uh, Phobia Cure and I thought, oh, this sounds cool and he was a neighbor of mine. So I, I did some work with him for a while and then I was in a fire and that's a really not good experience. And I went to Roger and he worked on taking the trauma out of that experience for me and he did it with the Callahan techniques which was the first tapping technique there was. And it's just three points, just that and the gamut. And I was free of that experience. I then went on and worked with Gary. I live in California, so I've been human potentialized for the last 25 years, doing, you know, Tony Robbins. Uh, his attorney was a friend of mine, so I did all that. And I've done TAT, lots of EFT. And the problem was I still felt like there was something wrong with me. Because, you know, here's my little secret. I'm a loser. And, and I'm the guy that always fails. Everybody else has great success, but not me. Because, you know, I'm a loser. I was the scapegoat in my family. And I've been really good at running that program. I'm smart. I've been successful. I worked for the President of the United States, but I'm a loser. So, and then one day I opened my email, and there was an email from this guy, Robert Smith. And I thought, that's not even a real name. <laughs> you know, who would call themselves Robert Smith, really? That's just an internet name, you know. And I'd never heard of Faster EFT. Um, I was pretty familiar with everybody that was doing EFT and I was on all their lists and they were selling me, you know, lots of shit. And I was at the point where it's just like, no, no more. Um, 
I'm just going to tap on myself. I am just trying to sell me stuff, really. So I wasn't real interested in this email, except for the fact I wanted to find out how you make it go faster so I could answer that question. And I ended up signing up for the newsletter because I figured maybe the newsletter would answer the question. The first tape that I watched was 69. I tapped along and I went, oh my God, this sucker works. Because all that other stuff I did, you know, it really didn't work. I had some fun. I met some nice people. A couple of cute guys along the way. But it didn't work. But one video with this dude, Robert Smith, and it worked. And I was just blown away. And then I started reading all the stuff, and I found out there's nothing wrong with me. And that blew my mind. It took me a long time to, to really accept. In fact, it was only pretty much signing up for this class that I said, well, I better let go of that. So, you know, you just never know what it is in your life that will change your life. I mean, for me, it was just an email. The universe or God or whatever you believe in would not let me let go of faster EFT. Robert had a webinar, and he has these every once in a while, and if you haven't watched them, they're really good. And in that webinar, he said something that was very profound. Oh, I know everything you say is profound, but um, <laughs> what you said was make an investment in yourself. And I went, new concept. I have done all these things. I've spent way over $100,000. But it never, ever occurred to me that I was making an investment in myself, probably because I wasn't. You know, I was just trying to find out what was wrong with me. And when I heard those words, I had to come. I had to be here. But wow. I mean, I know my life is changing. It's already changed. The fact that I could be in this room, fly on a plane, I'm a multiple chemical sensitivity person. Um, it's, it's phenomenal. So I just want to say thank you. You never know. You know, those little things create miracles in people's lives. So thank you and God bless. And thank you all. You've been part of my experience. <laughs>